Good morning, everybody. It's day 71, our 52nd day on the trail. And uh, we were up at about 11,000 feet and we're running out of gas, man. I tell you what, all the systems are working hard. And there's uh, there's vintage. What you got, vintage? Today's a rough day. Today's a rough day. Today's a rough day. I woke up feeling like I normally feel at the end of the day. Uh, and I've been crawling up these hills. Our, I've already ate my mid-morning snack and my afternoon snack trying to get energy. We're both very fatigued. So <laughs> I'm be hungry. But we're both very fatigued, but we just walked into this beautiful, beautiful metal and making, uh, and making it worth it. You know, your cardiovascular system's working so hard at this altitude and trying to feed your muscles that oxygen and our muscles are just not getting everything they need right now. A little birdie just came by. There he goes. Oh, a little woodpecker. He went to the other side. There he comes. There they are. Oh, there he is. All right, move up, please. Keep moving. Let me see if I can. Let's see if I can get these. I'm trying. I'm chasing him, guys. Sorry, I'm making you sick. We just crossed. Oh, uh, right there on the ground in the middle of the trail is a tree that just broke off. Probably not too long ago, all of its green branches and whatnot might have within the last month or two for sure. And uh, anyways, the other problem we have, whoop, we're both losing weight. Yeah. And the pack that used to fit nicely is now starting to not fit the way it used to, and it's causing me problems. She's lost her buttsies. But hips, hips. And now my pack won't ride right. It's pulling on my shoulders. So I'm gonna figure it out. And it doesn't help that I've got this massive bear can, which we need to show you guys, this bear canister that we've got in here, all our food has to go into. And it's not flexible and it's hard, but all this complaining- Ain't getting us any further down the road. Well, it doesn't get us further down the road, but we wouldn't get to see this- That's right. If this other stuff wasn't happening. So we finally got out of view of Olatcha Peak, at the 12,000 foot peak behind us two days ago. And we've been able to see it all the way until today. And now there's these new peaks and I'm not gonna try to name them. Uh, yeah. They're over 11,000 foot, but I don't remember the names of them. I'll try to get in the book tonight and pull up the names. So we, cause we'll probably be looking at them for a while. But we're gonna skirt this meadow. Here we go. I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna it. start moving. Let me uh, swing by there, there vintage. So. Because Joshua said you got too many butt shots of these. Oh yeah, Joshua don't want me to ushamagoo, magoo. No more butt shots of vintage. So here we go. We're doing the uh, hiking down the trail in the beautiful metal meadow at 11,000 feet. Uh, and here, here's another uh, cluster ooh, of mountains. You see some snow on top of those. Um, so. Yeah, it's all it's all up, up, up until we finally crest at 13,000 along the trail uh, in two days. The uh, challenge is, is having our bodies process the oxygen, the thinning oxygen enough, well enough to keep our muscles functioning properly. And we're probably not getting the right amount of calories um, just because we packed, yeah, so the vintage is saying we packed light as we could to try to get 10 days because without dropping off the side of this mountain range, you, you to get into Lone, not Lone Pine, but Independence or Bishop, you have to have 10 days to get all the way across where you can find the next place close enough to the trail to get resupply. So basically we got 10 days of food, albeit probably not exactly enough calories. You know, we had been grabbing a bag of chips. We had been grabbing a few candy pieces and things like that, because it's, it's empty calories, but it's sugar and it's, it's just a stuff to keep us kind of moving. We don't even have that now. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We're hoping to go all the way across to the 10 days without having to drop into um, 
independence or bishop. But if the food runs out, the energy runs out, or the battery pack runs out, we're gonna have to, to do that about two or three days short of our goal, which just means we gotta add a day and a lot of extra miles to drop down off a side trail, thousands of feet, go catch a car ride, a hitchhike for 30, 40 miles, fill up our packs again, and uh, come and hike back up to get back up on here on the trail. So we'll see how it goes. All right, enough of the vine, the, the meadow, and the meandering. Talk to you later. Bye.